And in terms of products, we're doing wires and cables, switches and accessories, LEDs and switch gears. And we will be launching our fans range uh, t today evening. And we are, we're looking forward to it. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I think we can start the questions. Uh, hi, this is Madhav from Business India. Good hi. evening. evening. Congratulations uh, for your new products uh, today to entire team. Uh, can you just tell us about these five brothers? Uh, how? What is the special about this particular product? What is the difference between uh, existing products available in the market? What's your specialty in this particular fans range and other products? Yeah, so we have been there in the electrical industry for quite a while now, and fans is uh, fans is an integral part of the electrical industry. So we have all the other products, switches, and other products. So as the family expanded, so we wanted to expand our product range, we wanted to expand our markets. And to align into that vision, we launched fans. Uh, when we talk about the product, <coughs> uh, uh, we have a very uh, complete range of fans, uh, all kinds of fans. We have the basic fans, we have BLDC fans. Uh, we have a very premium range of fans also. We are wanting to target uh, all sets of uh, uh, consumers in the market and uh, yeah, yeah so that's about it yes how do you go to uh, market these products because there are a lot of well-known you know co competitors are in the market yeah like you know a very uh, long players like Crompton Creek so yeah. many other leading players Avail. so what is that kind of marketing strategy for the yeah. company yeah, so fans is a very crowded space. There are a lot, lot many companies who have been there. Who, there are many established players as well. So we, we at Fibros, we already have a brand image. We already have a, a set consumer base, uh, a very good channel with us. So we, we were wanting to leverage that first so that uh, we can gain some market access. And in terms of designs, in terms of quality, uh, we have created a, a line of fans that is very appealing to, to the end consumers. Uh, I hope you will see that later. And th that is where we, we see ourselves uh, standing out uh, from, from the competition. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm Subjit Roy from Moja for Industry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations to you and your team. Thank you. Uh, can you just uh, uh, tell us about, you know, what's your assessment on the fan market? As there are, uh, and as you said that you, you know develop products which are into smart applications. So are you uh, looking at the high-end fan market only? So if you if you are doing that, so what what will be the market size for uh, these high-end fans? Yeah. So in terms of numbers, fans is it's approximately about 9,000 crore market, and <clears throat> it's a mix of all segments. So what we as a company we've decided that we're going to come up with a very good BLDC range, which are premium fans, five star rating, and so th this is this is the new technology that has come up a few years later. The government is also uh, pushing for it, uh, and consumer awareness is something that we as a company are trying to make sure that we make our consumers aware of the technology. That it, it, it is a lot of power saving. Uh, it has long-term benefits. So, in terms of uh, the premium range, the BLDC range will be our leading product, and that is where we see ourselves uh, presenting ourselves to the market. So, out of uh, 9,000 crore, what will be the market size for these BLDC fans, and what is your target? Uh, I don't really have the correct numbers. Uh, BLDC is a relatively new technology, so I think it should not be more than 10, maybe 20%. But it is growing, and it is growing multifold every year passing. And uh, you have already presence in uh, lighting segments, switches also. So how much, uh, what's your top line, if you can just let us know about that. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. So uh, if you can just let us know about your financial performance of 23, and uh, what exactly you are looking at 24, the top line you are looking at. Yeah, so we, we closed at around 850, 875 crores last year touching 900 and uh, <coughs> this year we will be targeting a thousand crore and with fans uh, being added into the range uh, only three months left in this financial year in the next financial years we're looking at fans we should be touching about 100 crores of business for fans alone yeah thank you shivani can I have some water please hi good evening it is rakesh roy for the economic types mm -hmm. uh, Questions uh, I want to ask you. 
what kind of innovation uh, fibrous is bringing in its product uh, in energy efficiency uh, what kind of innovation in terms of the energy efficiency yes, right yes yes so yeah as i mentioned that bldc which we call as brushless uh, direct current technology uh, this this itself uh, means that there is a lot of almost uh, if i'm not wrong i'll have to check the numbers again but almost more than 50% energy saving so we have invested a lot in bldc technology we have a robust r&d team and we have managed to create a line of fans that bldc fans are uh, there are a lot of them and so this technology uh, is relatively a new technology but uh, we are getting a good grip on that uh, we are working in terms of further uh, uh, further betterment of this technology and it's a five star rating fan and this is where you know it will reach to indian homes and it will save a lot of energy across the country in terms of fans using the uh, electricity in terms of the overall product of fibros uh, what kind of uh, uh, techn technological advancement uh, upgrading by fibros uh, to its product like uh, uh, for the seamless integration of uh, uh, electric system to uh, enhance the customer uh, better experience no, I'm sorry, the voice is echoing, Shivani. Hello? I'm not able to understand. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's better, please. What kind of uh, technological advancement uh, uh, Fibros is bringing in its product yeah. uh, to upgrade, uh, to enhance the best, better customer experience? Yeah, so as I mentioned, BLDC is one of the most important parts. Uh, other than BLDC, we have also come up with underlight fans. So uh, generally, fans don't have lights. So for now, we, we have invested uh, uh, fairly f f some amount in all those kinds of fans also that you can have lights in your fans. And in terms of technology, uh, the, the usage of copper that was used before and now, it is also upgraded. The, the performance of the fan, the air delivery of the fan, uh, the speeds of the fans, so they have drastically improved in the last few years. And with, with we launching this product, we have made sure we do all the research before getting the f finished product uh, in our hand. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, so you were talking about research uh, before launching this product. So what kind of response uh, from the, the customer point of view or your dealer's point of view for this new product? Another thing, what kind of investment involvement in this new product? And you know, what are the plans for the going forward? And how much you going to uh, your contribute growth contribution from this new product as well as other other electrical products to the fibers? Yeah. So, uh, as you mentioned, what kind of response we're expecting from the dealers in the channel? So we've had a first round of discussion with the channel, uh, uh, but we have not really shown them the product yet because this is the first launch. This is the very first initial launch that we're doing today for certain of states. Uh, but we've discussed the technologies, we've discussed some pricing related things, we've discussed how the service things works and we're confident that we will be getting a very good response from our channel partners because they are, uh, they are already confident on Fibros as a brand with the kind of products we already have in our basket. So uh, in terms of the confidence of our channel distributors, uh, we are pretty confident that it's, it's, got, it's not going to be a problem for us. <coughs> In terms of uh, contribution of fans to our growth, so fans is one of the products which is something that elevates the brand image uh, because fan is something that is always there right in front of your eyes. So a good looking fan, a very good quality fan is always something that you know, helps, uh, helps recall the brand to the consumers. So we are expecting that fans would do at least 30-35% of uh, contribution to our vision uh, for the next five years. Yeah, infrastructure and real estate, estate sector also booming now, picking up now. Yeah. So across India, and uh, are the plan to export also these products uh, once is after after India's operation uh, is launched? Yeah, as, as you mentioned, infrastructure uh, has been growing. The real estate has been growing about about five six percent every year. The economy is supposed to uh, grow at five six percent. So there is there is a whole lot of uh, opportunity potential in the Indian market. So currently we are only planning for Indian market only, but in the near future we may consider exports as well. But Indian market is itself is a huge, uh, a huge market for us to fill. So we would be targeting just the Indian market for starters.
Pinkish, you want to take the question? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, as you were saying that, hey, right. right. Sorry? Yes, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you were mentioning that, uh, you know, fans is a kind of attractive market segment and you wanted to be here. So, do you consider yourself as a kind of late entrant in this space? Uh, uh, it, it is hard to comment that when is the right time to enter and when not. But I would still say it, it is a good time for us to enter because the technology just in the last year has, has changed. There was, there was a the thing called star rating which was not there in the fans industry earlier. Just last year, in fact, just a few months back, the government has managed to ensure that the star rating has been uh, properly implemented across, uh, across the sector. So it is actually a very good time to be in the fans because the new techno technology have come in. So brands are changing the way they used to make fans, the way they used to uh, market their fans. So it's, it's, it's a great time for us to be in this industry, yes. Plus India has a strong growth rate. So yeah, we're very, very excited to be in this time. All right. And uh, second question was, uh, uh, how, what is the volume? Because you are targeting at around 100 crore from the fans business. Yeah. So what is the volume we are going to produce? And where are you, where are you going to manufacture this particular volume of fans? Yeah. So. <clears throat> Uh, in terms of the manufacturing, we are not, we don't have plans to manufacture the, uh, uh, the existing range of fans in the first phase uh, because uh, it is always recommended after a certain number of fans, then only you go for a manufacturing plant. So probably three years down the line is when we are considering to have a manufacturing plant. And in terms of uh, number of fans, uh, are we targeting about, a lag, uh, about half a million fans every year. So as of now, you'll be doing it at your existing facility only, what exactly? Uh, no, not much. It, it is more like a, a vendor-driven game. There are uh, many uh, good vendors in the market who, who we invest with, who we work with, who we research with, and have our own uh, designs developed and then take them to the market. So it's a joint product development, you mean to say? Uh, it's not right to call a joint product. It is completely ours, but yeah, we buy it from uh, other uh, set manufacturers who are there in the market. Okay. And high-end fans like the VLDCs are uh, 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 no, uh, of a kind of higher cost. Yeah. And India is a cost-sensitive market. So how are you going to price your product, this particular range? And uh, as you, you were mentioning about the dealer strategies, so is it going to be the same dealers which we're having for lighting and the other switches business? Yeah. So, so uh, in terms of pricing, uh, we have all segments of fans. So we as a brand, we have been a brand of, of masses. We've always targeted masses. And so we have that range who would, uh, which would be suitable for, uh, you know, every, uh, every consumer, some, you know, in the tier two or maybe tier three cities. And we also have a premium range which we would be targeting in the cities like Delhi, Mumbai, and, and so on, all the metropolitan cities. Uh, so yeah, we have a complete range where uh, we would be targeting different segments of society with different products. And uh, there was also one more question, I'm sorry. I About the dealers, if that... Uh, the dealers, yeah. So we have a very strong uh, distributor and dealer base across 2,500 dealer base across the country. So it is always great for us to leverage that first uh, so that we get good access to the existing consumers. And then once, once uh, we are there, then we will be growing our uh, channel further. And how are you going to ensure the... Uh, no, <coughs> product quality when Sorry. it's completely outsourced to someone else. So yeah, so we, we have teams, uh, we have good team in place, we have uh, many people who are going to be working in sync with the people who are manufacturing it, who are going to be uh, there in their factory. So all the development is done by our team, all the research has been done by our team, all the motors, uh, the whatever technical things that are there in the fan has been developed by us. It has just been passed on to the manufacturer to manufacture it for us. So we have the right team in place to ensure that we get the right product uh, on the right time. And you will have a final QA Kings QC before uh, putting it in the market? Absolutely, absolutely. There are multiple processes where from, from the moment the research starts, the moment we get some samples and so on, so there are multiple layers we get the quality testing done. And uh, the end product, each and every product, initially at least, we will be testing each and every product that we get from outside.
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, media journalist. So, is there any other question you would like to have? Yeah, please, please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Please First thank of all, congratulations you. to your team. Thank you. Uh, thank sir, you. Uh, you said that you have made a research uh, of these fans, right? Uh, so, which region uh, you'll be targeting first of all for these fans? Yeah, so in terms of launching, we are we will be launching these fans in four of our key markets now, which is Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Gujarat, and Western UP. So we wanted to uh, sort of test two from South India and two from uh, the other part of the India, so that we get uh, a mix, uh, uh, sort of a collective response from different markets, and then we go on to launch. Uh, our range across India in the next phase. So yeah, to answer your question, Tamil Nadu uh, and Telangana, Gujarat and West UP, these are uh, uh, amongst others uh, our key markets and that is where we will be launching our range first. So is there any other uh, advancement in these fans you are going to do in the coming 24? Yeah, so uh, our final product line is ready and there are a lot of products which are uh, sort of in pipeline that will be coming in the next year uh, with some technological advancements, with some aesthetic advancements and uh, uh, some, some price upgradations. A lot of cost evaluation will f happen further so as to ensure we get to the consumers in the right, right price range with the right product with the right quality. So you are climbing for the 5 star rating, right? Uh, so this 5 star rating, how you are going to, in fact, uh, um, the targeting the other uh, your uh, uh, competitors? Yeah, so this 5 star rating is, is uh, as I mentioned before, is relatively very new and all the companies are uh, uh, doing all their research and they, they, they're working on their products, including us, we also spend a fair amount of time researching this. So what we're targeting is with this 5 star uh, rating fans, uh, we would be adding a lot of aesthetics to it, underlight fans, uh, uh, some, some fast uh, high speed fans and other and very good looking fans, aesthetic fans at a price range where we can reach uh, the middle class uh, segment of the society as well. So this, this I think would help us uh, sort of take a lead with our competitors. So what's your message for your uh, customers and the dealers for 24? I'm sorry, I didn't get the question. What's your message for your customers for the dealers for 2024? Yeah, yeah for the dealers and distributors, I would like to tell that we have all, uh, as, as a company, as a brand, we've always uh, got that trust, that uh, strong association from the partners and we expect that uh, to remain uh, throughout and uh, for fans also we are, uh, we would like to promise them that uh, we will be coming up with another line of products that will uh, speak about the trust and, and, the, and the best quality that Fibros has always been able to deliver. And, and also to the consumers that Fibros has always made sure that we have been there with the right product, right service and the right pricing and we would like to do that over and over again with our new products, whatever they are coming in the future. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Beauty, uh, uh, tell us about this investment involved uh, in the, the new product and then, you know, further plan for 2024. Yeah, so, so in terms of investments, we've made about uh, 50 crores of investments. Uh, considering uh, the four markets we will be launching in and further in the next year we are investing we are planning to invest 
uh, which we uh, don't have uh, a clear number right now, but we, we are further planning to invest uh, a, a fair amount of investment so as to uh, grow uh, in terms of markets and in terms of the product line also. So, Shruti Ghashan is your brand ambassador, right? Yes. So, what are the other uh, strategy, marketing strategy, brand campaign uh, to push this product to the audience, Absolutely. the customers? Yeah, so, so uh, in terms of marketing, uh, Shruti Asan is, is the face of the brand. She represents us uh, uh, very perfectly, I would say. She has a strong uh, South root and so do we. We have also been a very uh, strong South Indian brand and now we have uh, reached at a national level. So, Shruti Asan uh, has, his, is always instrumental for us. Uh, in terms of our marketing campaigns and we have multiple marketing campaigns lined up offline, online, a lot of digital media campaigns, TVCs, we're going to be going for uh, a lot of regional media, uh, ATL communications uh, with our new range of TVCs that we have shot for fans. So we have a pretty strong plan in place for, for, for us to market fans uh, as the new, the new age product from Fibros. Now let's conclude this press meeting. Thank you again, directors. Yep. Thank you, media yep. journalists. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody. Thank you so much. Sir, come. Come close. Yes. Next thing, next. Awesome. Sorry, so here you Shruti, one picture. Yes, I did. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Here's a light mark now. Light mark. Light One here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. She's yeah, coming in. Side, side, come